Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to remove all instances of a particular element from a list. But specifically, we're going to be using a for loop. So I'm going to do this in the way you would think to do it, but there's actually one issue and I'll get to that in a second. So you would say for item in backpack, what are we going to do? We're going to say if item equals pizza slice. So we're going to check to see if it's that value and if it is, we're going to say backpack dot remove and then pass in item. So running this, you can see we get exactly the result we want. But are we done? No, not quite. And that's because we're breaking one of the fundamental principles of being a not terrible developer. And that is you never remove items from a list when you're using a for loop in Python. If you're in another programming language, it would be the same thing, but with a for each loop. When you remove items from the list, it janks up all the indexes and it's not gonna work the way you would expect. And just to show you guys this, I want to print item here. So when we do this, we should see each item as we iterate through this list. But as I do it, we're only getting pizza slice here. What, what's going on? Well, it just so happens that I set up this list in a way that it looks like it's working, but it's really not working. And that was totally by coincidence actually, because every other item is pizza slice, it's working fine. But if I went in here and added another item, so I went in here and said pizza slice here, well now we run this thing and now we get pizza slice in the final result. Why is that not being removed? So when we remove, we're actually going to be shifting each item over one. So we're getting every other item here in this print here. So the fix for this is actually to use a copy, which is why I taught you guys how to do this video or two ago. You put a square brackets and a colon, and now the indexes are going to be based off of this copy. And as we remove the items, the indexes don't shift. So now when we run this, hey, look at this, we get all the elements and the final result is correct. So whenever you want to remove items from a list with a for loop, you need to use a copy. Another common thing is to assign it to another list, and I'll show you guys how to do that real quick. So you could say, new backpack, make it empty, and then for items in backpack, get rid of the square brackets, we don't need the copy anymore. We could say if item is not pizza slice, then we can append it to this new backpack, new backpack dot append and pass in item. 